G'day everyone, uh, Nick Bowdish here from the Mentoring Club. I uh, wanted to just record a quick video, um, push it out live on my Facebook page, um, to cover a few different things and to quote two very clever people, Guy Kawasaki and Andrew Griffiths. So the first thing I want to talk about is pricing. This has come up a couple of times this week with a few clients and uh, that I'm mentoring and it's worth just repeating I think that there's some really valuable bits in the thought process around pricing and some of it's really hard. But there's some things you can get wrong when you focus on the wrong things with pricing too. The first thing is, I, I think about pricing as a negative thing as opposed to a positive thing, right? So if, you know, if you're, say you're in professional services and you are really unique, really clever, um, really innovative, you're the industry leader, you're really educated, you're whatever it is, and then your price is too low, or I perceive it as a, as a buyer of it to be too low, then you're actually going to cost yourself business, right? And, and so it doesn't matter what you're priced at then because you won't be getting the business in the door anyway. You know, if I see something, and this is, this is also true of products, physical products, but if I, if I can see the value and see that something is really valuable, um, that somebody is really clever, or you know, the, in my thought process, their hourly rate should be here, but it's here, then I think they're a bit shit. Right, and I'm much, much less likely to even pursue the time with them or buy that product or, or whatever it might be. So be careful about pricing yourself too low just to get the business because you won't get ongoing business and you're, being, you're hurting your branding and the future of your branding overall as well. So that's the first thing about pricing. The second thing which I talked about before and, and it's probably worth repeating as well is how to get to your price. Right, so and this is where I'll, I'll, I'll quote my mate Andrew, Andrew Griffiths who, who says this line and I plagiarize it shamelessly all the time. He says, you know, somebody has to be the most expensive and it might as well be you, right? So true. Somebody out there is the most expensive and, and everyone else is benchmarking themselves against that, whether they be trying to be cheaper, try to be the same price and add the same amount of value or whatever, they're the benchmark, right? Now, I don't I don't necessarily suggest you just up your price to be the most expensive. That's not what I'm saying. But it really depends on, if you're on professional services especially, then it really depends on how hard you want to work. And a lot of people think about pricing going from left to right. Right? So they think, oh, this is the price it should be. I should be $100 an hour. Um, this is how much I, I can work each month, each week, each quarter. So this is what I'll make in a year. Right? So I think that's kind of ass about. And I think what you should maybe thinking about, be thinking about doing is thinking right to left. So this is the amount of money that I want to make this year from this particular part of my business, right? This is how many hours I either have to invest in that job, that part of my career, whatever, or that I want to invest in it. And then you simply divide how much money you want to make by how much you want to work, and that's your hourly rate. So, and then you can adjust each of those parameters you know, individually if you need to, if they're still a bit skew, if or still a bit wrong. But, you know, I, I just think if you're thinking left to right, you're always chasing your ass, you know. You're always going to be trying harder to, to, to do more hours, to work harder or whatever, instead of thinking, well, how, what if I just up my hourly rate a little bit? That could actually help me. And if you're thinking right to left, that's going to work. Now, that's for professional services. But I think something, something along the same lines can be applied to if you're selling a physical product or retailing a product, selling software. You know, how much money do we want to make? How much do we want to invest in that, be it, be it time or money or effort or, or whatever? What's the return on the investment? Come back to how much it will cost the consumer at the point of sale, right? So that's, that's the first thing I want to just talk about is pricing. And I think, I think everyone can get something out of looking at your pricing once a quarter. Right, not necessarily going up or going down. Just looking at it and saying, "Well, is it still right? Is it? Is it? Is this how much I want to work? Am I working hard enough? Am I working too hard? Am I working too many hours? Do, am I missing my kids? Am I doing whatever and, and adjust it accordingly?" Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about today, uh, where I'll mention um, what I've learnt from Guy Kawasaki too, in a couple of his keynotes that I've seen is. He talks about being where innovation happens ahead of the next curve. So it's not the next curve. It's the next curve after that that you need to be sitting in and really driving things and changing. So at the Mentoring Club, we're, we're, we're doing that. We're, we're building the, um, the artificial intelligence and machine learning part of mentoring. So, you know, uh, we can provide mentoring to everyone uh, for basically free. Um, it, you know, there'll still be a human component, which will be the premium component, always will be. But under that, we can, we can build or we are building a machine that uses um, 
artificial intelligence and, and machine learning to be able to say, the majority of people who ask, who have a dress shop, who ask about Instagram, uh, are given these bits of advice from our from our mentors and mentoring club. So over time, the machine will learn to give that advice out to someone who just types it into a Siri type platform. So that's being built right now, and that just means we're a little bit ahead of the curve. So the mentoring club, um, where we have you know industry leading experts, where you just buy them for an hour over Skype. Uh, and there's no looking contracts ever. So that's kind of the next curve of mentoring or business coaching. But the AI part of our business is the next curve after that. So, you know, think also um, there's, there's cars, right? And taxis and, and whatever. And then there's Uber. So Uber has is on the next curve of, of cars. And you could argue self-driving cars and hydrogen-powered cars and everything's in there as well. But what about self-driving cars when applied to the Uber model, right? So at the moment... People are thinking, right, well, I'm going to be innovative in my thought process and in my business, and I'm going to be I'm going to drive for Uber, right? So I'm, I'm making money through through driving for this innovative app, which is wicked, right? It's a really great thing to do, and, and you know, I'm making money, and it's pretty easy, and all the innovation, all the tech's done for me. But what about when Uber becomes self-driving cars doing Uber, right? So that's the next curve, and, and are you future-proofing your business all the way through? Now... I'd like to think I'm future-proofing the mentoring club with the advanced, uh, with the machine learning and the artificial intelligence stuff, but there'll be something else down the track, which I'll have to think about again. But if you are operating your business back here before the next curve, then you're not even future-proofing against that. So maybe think about, you know, take, take a day in the next 30 days to sit for an hour, two hours, distraction-free, and think, who could change this business? Who could disrupt what we're doing, who could cost me my business, cost me money, and, and, and how, how is that going to happen? And then see if you can get ahead of that person, that technology, that change, that disruption, or whatever, because it might as well be you, right? Again, to, uh, to reiterate Andrew's uh, favorite line. So that's, that's kind of where I want to um, leave it today. I'd love your feedback um, on both the pricing idea of working right to left and trying to you know, work less for more money, but still providing good value to customers and, and your clients as well as future-proofing your business. I'd love to hear how you are future-proofing your business right now. Um, and, and you can either get back to me on, uh, under this um, post on my Facebook page, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Nick Bowditch on Twitter or Instagram as well. Or you can find me through The Mentoring Club, which is here, uh, thementoring.club, um, where we have 20 or so industry-leading experts providing quality mentoring with no locking contracts just by the hour on Skype. So um, I hope you have a great day. It's Monday. Let's get on with it. <laughs> I know it's Monday, but let's try hard to, uh, to make this week a really fun one and uh, you know, get some stuff done. But also, if I can help you with anything, make sure you please reach out to me, hit me up. I'd love to be able to be part of your business and helping you out, at least uh, in my own little small way. All right. Have a great Monday, everyone. See ya.